Hey, Kyle. I'm not sure what happened with Lens, but she's upset with me. Lens? Have fun with the boys. That's all you care about, right? Lindsay, I, I thought we had a productive conversation. Did we? We did, I thought. Then you better f***ing bow to my f***ing feet and prove it to me. I was sitting with Carl oh, and... Oh, that's important to you? More than fixing everything with me? I can't fix everything right now, Lindsay. Guess what? You should try your f***ing hardest. Do you think Kyle's birthday was the time for Everett to... Amanda! Don't nasty. talk to me about Wait, Kyle, where please, Kyle's, Kyle's birthday is away. the time. Kyle, yeah. you, let me handle this. It wouldn't be Kyle Cook's birthday if Lindsay and Everett didn't make the day about them and have a massive blowout that affected everybody. Oh, Kyle, oh, oh, you want to go talk to Carl? Yeah, I can't speak. Everett, you won't let me say anything. Then maybe, then maybe do something. Come here, I'll talk to you. Oh, you want to go talk to Carl? I can't but, speak, Lindsay. Uh, this is, this is insane. What a, what a good role model yeah, for you. This is bonkers. I will f you up, mother -er. She erupted like a like psychotic volcano. I'll walk, I'll walk out with you. You couldn't even speak in there. What just happened? How many times is it that, oh, my intentions are, are good, my intentions are good? Like, grow the f up, mother -er. They were having a good time together. That says the disconnect in their relationship and why it doesn't work. Because it can't keep happening like this. Good job, girl. Good job. No, you're on my list. How about your wife? Commitment stuff is scary for me. Very scary. Everything like involving a relationship is scary. Well, then go be single and have fun. But I'm having fun with you at the same time, and that's like, like. Well, you're not saying that. I'm afraid to get into relationships because of my family. It's like I come from this world of like cheating, lying, infidelity, it, like everything. It's like it's it's a lot. My parents divorced last year. It took a huge toll on me. Much as the divorce is awful for you, I was lying to myself how much it affected me. I've wondered, can I even commit to someone? And that's what makes me so cautious about getting into a long-term relationship with someone like Lindsay, who I care about dearly. Let's look at my past. Let's be honest. No, but no, Carl, look at me. Yes. Then don't it up. Understood, but it haunts me. Like I have family but I don't have commitment issues it's because of it. My mother abandoned me. That doesn't make me afraid of commitment. So what is the issue here? Because it's certainly not your father. That's an excuse. I just wanted you to know that that stuff still, I think about them. You are really, really special. I love being in your presence. And I want to see what the, where that goes. But also that you have commitment issues. Yeah, I do. And I, you know exactly why I do. I don't give you shit about stuff. You're vulnerable. I listen. I don't make excuses. <laughs> what? It's not a excuse. Can you calm down? Can you apologize or no? Can you take a deep breath? No, you're you're disrespecting me. Hello. It's not an excuse. Just oh. say, hey Carl, my bad. I fed up. Please. Can you? I need you to calm down i am no take a deep breath because i'm not gonna apologize when someone's yelling at me because i'm gonna get defensive when someone's yelling at me okay because i'm a why very, is this now you're like you, you you're need to stop yelling at you're me. insulting me talk to me like a human i am i'm fired then up then calm the take a lap easily the worst date i've ever had i'll take a lap you calm the down that's a great way to end the date absolutely bullshit. The only thing I can say is it's good that you're finding a new space instead of moving into one or the other's spaces. Yeah, you that became a big problem. It got used against me a lot. And I was like, mother I made this livable, so you're welcome. Yeah, we're moving in. I want to be with Amanda forever, but I've seen it firsthand. People move in and things don't go as planned. And now, because you live together, you just complicated the sh out of your breakup. I've seen actually case. some people. How would you Literally. know, Jordan? Shut the f up. No, I'm saying that you like yeah, moved into was... another guy's apartment and he like held that over you. Either way, you weren't there. You don't even know what my relationship was. So yeah. that's for not head. for you to even say any goddamn word. There's a lot of unwritten rules in the summer house and Jordan just learned two of them. Number one, men are always wrong. 
Number two, never, ever say Everett. Never. Let's not comment. What's your deal is? You're being like exceedingly aggressive with everybody. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. So I was out with Lindsay, and then all of a sudden, she got upset about some girl texting me that worked in my building. I called you out on something that was inappropriate. Why'd you go call me out? The fact that you gave your f***ing number and got a girl's number. Shut up. You dismiss me every time I, so I say dumb. anything. Yeah, it's like I can't talk to people from the opposite sex. What the f***? Our house is big, but not that big. And just because your door is closed doesn't mean we don't know what's going on. Nobody's blind or deaf. Here's a scenario. New person we work. What are you this weekend? Going to Montauk. And she was like, well, do you know any good places to go? I was like, yeah. I don't give a f No f I really don't care who this girl is. She could literally be 700 pounds, has facial hair, and a tail growing out of her ass. If a girl texts you and I ask you about it, don't get defensive. If you get defensive, then I feel like something's going on. It's what are you saying? No, I can't take your number because my girlfriend's going to freak out if you ever text her. Why would you want to? I'm so This is why we had the rule of no couples in the summer house. You can't deal with insecure horse You think I'm insecure? Yes, I do. I think it's you up in more ways than you know, and I don't want to deal with it. Maybe it's not going to work out then. Are you not happy? I'm literally excited to be here with you. No, okay. I have higher expectations for our relationship than just going through the motions. So this is just going through the motions. You really want this to be ruined. You really want this. No, and you keep I, saying I, I want good. you. It's getting kind of heated with Steven and Lindsay downstairs. Is it really? Wait, everything was going so amazing. I appreciate this so much, but it's been a year of us dating, and... This is going through the motion. What the hell? Well, it's my birthday. But, like, what What okay. about every other day? So you're grateful, but this is going through the motion. Well, it's so like... Uh, those those okay, two things so are not then what to happens say. tomorrow? Tomorrow's not here. I would appreciate some consistency in life. So I planned a lot for this, and you literally gloss over it. We're alone, together, boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's my fault. You're right. There's no fault. Like, stop, my fault. stop my being fault. so. You're ruining a great time, and you saying that we have problems when we don't have problems is extremely we do have frustrating. Problems. We do, but I'm just exposing them, and you don't like that. I'm acknowledging that I can do a better job, and I'm doing it, and you are not appreciating it. Let me tell you something. What I want is not a dinner. Is not for you to all of a sudden set up something romantic for me, which I've been asking for for a year. What I want whoa, 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 is for whoa, whoa. Stop, you. Stop there. You're no, no, no. You're cutting me off. No, now no. I'm not allowed to speak. You haven't. You're saying I haven't done anything romantic in a year? Are you kidding me? We went to Italy. We went on helicopter rides. We you went on jet skis. You got the girl. You got the girl. So it turns out you're not that guy. I'm not a sh person, Lindsay. Then what your version of good is not good enough for me. And what Listen, my and I'm not good enough for you. Maybe not. So annoying. This is so Come annoying. On. You want to fight. Guys, 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 you got my back in. You got my back in. Like, like, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just going to leave the house. Oh, OK, so it's my fault. Oh, there we go. I say my feelings, and he walks away. Hey. Yes. I want you to know right now that we I don't talk sh talking. OK, OK, OK. You're coming we really aggressively. Why are we having like a committee here? Don't go around saying you're not talking sh when you said f her. Pet that's, not her me eye. Talking sh that's me giving advice to my friend. I don't need to have a committee. We're not having no a committee. Okay, let's go. Don't say, come on, let's go. I don't, I don't need to walk into a gang. Hey, guys. I feel like everyone's yelling at each other right now. What the Apparently, like, Paige overheard something that you were telling Lindsay. Whatever it is, I guarantee you, it's stupid. Oh, God. I thought we were celebrating my birthday. It's supposed to be about us. Everyone needs to grow up, including Carl. This is how adult relationships work. If you have a problem, you confront that person directly. You don't talk to the entire house. That's very middle school. I'll show you the way!